9 Best Tiny Flowers for Your Garden You may know baby's breath best as a cliché filler in Valentine's bouquets, but this perennial flower shines in the garden. Although these tiny white flowers and thin, wispy stems have a delicate appearance, they are quite resilient in the landscape. Plants thrive in dry, average soil, but this is one plant that prefers alkaline conditions, which makes it ideal for rock gardens. Bristol Fairy is a reliable performer, and will bloom from April until the end of summer. Also known as starflower and alpine blossom, Aranus alpinus features feather-like petals and dark green stems that can be grown from seed. However, it's easier to start fairy foxglove flowers with a more mature plant acquired from a nursery. These flowers will happily grow in any rock crevice or wall. Unlike many rock garden plants, fairy foxglove will grow in partial shade. If you struggle to find a pretty plant for your woodland garden that the rabbits and deer won't bother, try low-maintenance forget-me-not. In April and May, the plants are covered in bright blue flowers with cheerful yellow eyes. Although a short-lived perennial, the flowers will self-seed and return for many years in moist areas. Part of the charm of Cymbalaria moralis, also called ivy-leaved toadflax, is the wonderful scalloped foliage that adds texture to the landscape even when the lavender flowers aren't blooming. However, that doesn't happen much, as the plants can remain in bloom from spring until fall in moist soils with some afternoon shade. Kenilworth ivy is only hardy in zone 6 and warmer, but self-seeding in colder areas is common. The true blue flowers of annual Lobelia arenis are a popular filler plant in early spring containers and hanging baskets, and new varieties of this plant ensure that blossoms won't fade when the weather heats up. When nights get hot, shear the plant and keep it hydrated for a repeat bloom. If you aren't familiar with rockcress, there are more than a dozen hybrids to start your collection, including the brilliant purple accent lilac, or you can grow the species Abrietta gracilis from seed. In mid to late spring, the evergreen foliage sports hundreds of pink, purple, or blue flowers on 2 to 4 inch plants. Trim the plants after blooming to maintain the compact, mounting shape. The silver foliage of Cerastium tomentosum is a clue to the drought tolerance of this robust perennial. This versatile plant features an abundance of white flowers, and you can use snow in summer to accent border edges, fill in crevices, or tuck in between garden pavers. Plants are also excellent rock garden candidates, as they thrive in full sun and sharply draining soils. Snow in summer is hardy down to zone 3, making it a welcome addition to alpine gardens. The fragrance of tiny sweet alyssum blooms is so delightful that it's often compared to fresh honey. In early spring, these plants are standard offerings in garden centers everywhere. You can also grow a range of luscious flowers in Easter egg hues from seed. The seeds germinate very quickly, sometimes in less than a week, and transplants thrive in cool spring weather. Give your sweet alyssum a trim when blooming gets sparse to rejuvenate the plant. It's always a joy when a plant can do double duty in the garden, and time fulfills that role nicely. Many cultivars act both as a flowering ground cover and also have culinary value, such as Italian oregano, thyme. All times need full sun and good drainage, and the plants respond well to shearing after spring blooms begin to fade. The purple blossoms will come back a few weeks later and attract native bees and beneficial wasps. The leaves grow in clusters on the thin stems, and they can add a savory essence to your soups and vegetables throughout the growing season. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.